Hello, today I have for you a very interesting and rare fountain pen from my collection. It is a Stedler from um, 1930s or early 1940s. Stedler is a German uh, company. It has a rich history with um, manufacturing of um, writing instruments in Germany. It was founded in Nuremberg by uh, Johann Sebastian Stedler in 1835 and it was initially a pencil manufacturer. As early as the year 1900, the product name Mars, which was uh, the name of the god of war in Roman mythology, was released or uh, was uh, registered with the Imperial Patent Office. This was followed by the head uh, of uh, the Mars in 1908. This particular logo was integrated in the company logo in uh, 1958 and over the years it suffered some modification, the last one being in 2001. Enough with the history lesson, let's um, get back to our uh, fountain pen. Unfortunately, as you see, this fountain pen is broken. I am uh, culpable for that. So to all my channel viewers, I recommend if you own a vintage uh, fountain pen, Please do not um, try to repair it yourself. This particular fountain pen had a piston filler mechanism and um, it was quite jammed um, up. I tried to open it at uh, this point um, by unscrewing the grip section, but uh, it was uh, very stuck and I had to apply a lot of force. So, um, I don't recommend lot of force on vintage fountain pens, especially at this fountain pen. As you can see, this material, I believe it's a celluloid, over time it has uh, this uh, transparency. So you know it's a very fragile material. And a lesson to you all, please, if you have uh, such a great vintage instrument, please take it to a person that knows how to repair this delicate writing instrument. So this is a nice mystery fountain pen from uh, the 30s or the 40s. Um, of course, one thing I love about uh, collecting vintage fountain pens is uh, to know, to study their history and to know from which period uh, they were made. On each uh, vintage fountain pen, you have some clues on, um, let's say, on the body of the pen of the barrel. In this particular particular case we have no uh, imprints or even if there were I believe there were uh, there a long time um, gone by the wear and of uh, this material and the only clue that remains hoping to identify the production date of this fountain pen is this a gold nib. This is a um, unique gold nib because I've searched the internet and I've seen uh, other models of uh, Stedler fountain pens from this period which were sold but they were sold uh, as a stand, uh, standard Luna or a standard Mars. In this particular case we have DC, the logo Luna and uh, the imprint Mars 14 carat, and we have another imprint that um, made in, uh, and I believe it's Germany because the grip section hides uh, this part of the gold nib. So, this is Mars. So, Mars was the trademark registered uh, from the beginning of the 1900s, but I believe that Luna, because of the Luna logo, I didn't find so much information. I believe it was a logo for, for a sub-brand of um, Stedler products. It is uh, still in use today uh, at um, their uh, pencil uh, line, which is called uh, the Luna. Uh, but um, what is interesting about this pen, it holds the Luna logo and the imprint marks. So, as I told you, 
uh, I've seen on internet if, or, or they contained Luna Mars and uh, it was the imprint or uh, the logo or of the word Luna or the other variant uh, which had on the um, nib the imprint Mars or the logo Mars. In this case we have the logo of the Luna, the imprint Mars and the strange characters DC. I don't know what they stand for. So, this is a unique fountain pen. Uh, it's a shame I've uh, broken the, it. It's a shame about this uh, beautiful, mysterious nib. It's a shame uh, of the whole uh, fountain pen. But um, I will preserve it and I hope so someday I will um, find a person that is able to fix this uh, terrible broken part. It is a shame because it's broken on the screw lines. I didn't tell you that this cap is a screw thin cap, um, similar to the bottom, as you see, it unscrews. And we are left with the top, um, top of the pen, which is around the top. And we are left with this uh, interesting clip, the only metallic um, part on the body of the fountain pen. It is quite uh, interesting, but in time uh, it uh, lost its uh, grip on the cap. And I wanted to show you that this cap has a, a breathing hole, you can see here. And uh, this is the fountain pen that I wanted to, to show you guys. I will uh, do a writing sample, but bear in mind, by, because I will uh, dip uh, this part in uh, the Parker Quick ink, and I will do a short writing sample. Thank you for watching uh, this uh, small review of a rare and old <laughs> broken Stedler fountain pen. And uh, I wish you a nice day. So, I have uh, promised you a written sample. I've dipped uh, the pen for uh, 20 seconds in this Parker Quink uh, ink. And now I will try to uh, put a very little pressure on the fountain pen because I don't want to broke uh, even further this. Uh, beautiful um, old vintage fountain pen so this is the this is the Stedler and I will say it's a Luna Mars German broken fountain pen it is a piston filler from the 19 30s with a beautiful 14 carat gold nib. I hope uh, you've enjoyed my small review and I wish you a good day.